ready to do our gateway. He's got some of those up there selected. Wait a minute, guys. Well, the assembly of the the gateway begins. A little jig set up. Is that wrap, wrap, pull? Eventually, our product hopefully will look like that. You do it right. Young Mr. Hess shows us. Do it tight, Richard. Just thanks for the help. Something to tell your grandkids about. We built the leading tower of Pisa out of Cyprus. <laughs> Whatever else we can get our hands on. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember back that's, in the 80s. Yeah. They, you uh, remember back when we had Cyprus? Another one here. A little bit more on that end. Hey. You need to talk mom and go on swimming, huh? Get down to deep lake. <laughs> no, we couldn't find it. <laughs> All we found was this humongous bear track with his claws in there. We did that with that Dad, we saw this bear track as big as my hand. And then they, these they claws. Yeah, that's it had, yeah, they had <laughs> well, that's right. well, I remember going through a gate there. there. Yeah. You're supposed to walk along that road there. Along. You were real close. That's what I figured. <laughs> I, 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 Another. The other water truck is well way you. Well, they're starting to things I things start to it. take shape here. Now well, trying to get a little bit more secure. Rad's working high stuff. Twin towers leaning a bit here and there. Next weekend we'll have to shore it up a little bit better. Just trying to get them up and braced right now.
team in the troop committee, chairman for troop 8777, and on behalf of the troop and Willow Creek Church, I'd like to welcome you, I'd like to welcome you here tonight for our uh, court of honor. We're here tonight to recognize the achievements of our scouts in the last quarter, and it's been a very busy summer. Uh, they've been through summer camp, we've taken a, a group of the older scouts uh, on a week-long backpacking trip in North Carolina. Um, just a super busy summer. Of the scouts have been very busy and uh, have achieved an awful lot. A lot of merit badges, a lot of rank advancements, and uh, so we've got a pretty busy agenda. We're going to try to finish this as quick as we can. Bear with us. I apologize for us getting a little bit of a late start. Quite frankly, we hope for us. We appreciate you that are here. We, we, uh, we did hope for a few more appearances tonight, uh, but I do. Um, we are going to have a fellowship immediately following the ceremony uh, in the bay right over here where the scouts usually to meet. Um, as you can see, we've grown quite a bit. And uh, it should be a pretty good sized troop. We've been very blessed with a number of outstanding adult leaders. Let me tell you, as our size gets bigger, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher to keep up with the demands of the troop. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to ask you as parents to try to get involved a little bit more. We've got some specific things that need to be done. Frankly, a lot of our guys get a lot of jobs instead of just one or two with the troop. And we have the same people doing lots and lots of things over and over. And uh, so we'd like to get a few more parents involved. There are a lot of things you can be involved in. Uh, we've got, we need one or two that could work with the troop. We need a couple that can work on our troop committee. We need people to help out with organize and to help with transportation. Uh, there's no reason anybody really can't do that. That's the minimum we ought to be able to ask, I think, of any parent involved is at least transportation. Um, what I'm going to do at this time is ask a couple of our scouts to come forward uh, with some brochures that we'd like to pass out to each family. I think we have some scouts. <laughs> Pass these out, one per family. Uh, describes our scouting program a bit. And uh, I think they got a little it. insert on the flap inside. It's got adult information. And what we'd like you to do is to fill that out and uh, try to hand it in to one of the adult leaders here tonight. Specifically, if you can catch Ron's friend. Where's Ron? Ron's here somewhere. Um, I might be able to try to get it to him tonight or any adult leader. We'd be glad to take it before you leave. We'd appreciate it. If, uh, one for family. Um, what I'd like to do right now is I would like to read you the purpose statement of our troop here at Willow Creek Church. The church looks at, uh, at this troop as a ministry. And uh, we pride ourselves in not only having an excellent scouting program, but we also pride ourselves in having a Christ-centered scouting program. And I think that's what makes us unique from an awful lot of other troops. And uh, you see it. You see it on our camp outs. You see it uh, at the Camp Marie's. You see it at summer camp. And I think there's a difference in this troop. And it starts with the adult leaders. We've got key adult leaders who are Christian men, who, uh, who are good role models for your sons. And uh, that's just where it starts. But throughout our scouting program, we're trying to get that across. Dave Burke is going to talk to you a little bit more about that a little bit later. Let me, let me read our purpose statement. We say, we at Willow Creek Presbyterian Church are greatly concerned about today's youth, our leaders of tomorrow. There is a need to provide our youth with a solid foundation. Scouting can provide this foundation. We are honored to charter both the Boy Scout Troop and a Cub Scout pack. Our leaders are Christian men and women who will emphasize the purpose of scouting based upon a strong Christian perspective. We pray that our boys will become beacons that will lead other boys to scouting and to Christ. And uh, I'd like you to think about that. That is, we have a twofold purpose here, to provide a good scouting program and to lead boys to Christ. And um, we're not going to be bashful about that. And you need to know that. We're not here to make Presbyterians out of everybody necessarily, 
but we do have a Christ Center program. Um, I'd like to, uh, we've got, a, like I said, a fairly busy agenda. I'm not going to talk much longer. The brochure, did everybody get a brochure? Um, I'm going to turn it over to our Master of Ceremonies, uh, David Ferguson, and he'll take it from here. Hello, I'm, I'm David Ferguson, the Senior Patrol Leader of Troop 787, and on behalf of all the Scouts and Patrols in Troop 787, I'd like to welcome you to this Court of Honor. At this time, I'd like to introduce Jonathan Arn, our Junior Assistant Scoutmaster, for the presentation of the play. Please rise for the presentation of the colors. Troops, attention. Color guard, advance.
Donald Menard, Senior Control Leader, and David Ferguson, Scout Man. Nicholas Panos from the Eagles. He's still in the best chair right now. So I don't know. Okay, fine. Maybe if I go to the window here. He'll be arriving, maybe? Uh, we hope. Okay. I won't go that slow. <laughs> Will he be awake when he gets here? <laughs> okay. Uh, Matthew Walker, control leader for the Knights. Chris Freeland, control leader for Silver Arrows. Eric Crazy, control leader for the Tigers. Chris Friend, control leader for the Wolves. Being a patrol leader is difficult work. One of the most important things I think they learn is how to get the other boys to listen to. It seems to be that's one of the, you know, Mr. Kesey, they won't listen to me. I can't get him to shut up. I can't get him to do what I'm about to do. And it's, that's an important step that they learn. And it's something that we are charged to help each other men with. Adults have that same problem too sometimes. I'm sure we all have that problem. Stay right. Uh, but I would like us to recognize the round of applause these gentlemen. It's a tremendous responsibility to face. <laughs> Master. 
but I'm sure you know by now. Tonight we're going to recognize the scoutmaster who has been with us as scoutmaster now, uh, I think it's about a year, but has been with this troop uh, since we started and continues to this day. So at this time, I'm going to ask our pastor, uh, Mr. Peter Albinson, if he would please come forward and he's going to make a presentation. I'd like to ask the Eagle Scouts if you would escort Mr. Kesey up, please. about just by accident. Nothing comes about out of thin air. Somebody made this podium. Uh, somebody, Mr. Mixon, for example, made that cross. It didn't just happen. Nothing just happens. In fact, I think the only people that believe that material things come out of nothing are evolutionists. Uh, nothing comes out of nothing. What we have was created or made by something. That's also true with organizations. When it comes to organizations, they don't just happen. It takes a person with a vision and a dream, somebody committed to ideals bigger than themselves who will commit their lives to developing them. And that was true with this troop and with this pack. When Willow Creek Church got started about three years ago, it was Richard Kesey who suggested, hey, we need to have a scouting program as part of the ministry of the church. And there were a lot of other men who said, you know, we need to. That's right. Let's get going. But it was Richard who was the spark. It was Mr. Kesey who was the one who had a vision for what this could be. And when we did get started, as Mr. Mixon said, we just had very few people here. We didn't have really much of a scouting program. We had about a million Cubs that got started. And Richard was our first Cub master and the one sort of bringing the vision along. Well, as transitions come in any organization, leaders change. And so tonight, as Richard uh, rotates out as our scoutmaster, we need to remember him in a special way. We want to remember him in a special way because he was the spark. He was the one who said it could happen. He was the one who said this could be something very special. And Richard, it has turned out to be very, very special. And it hasn't been for you. Who knows if it would have gotten started at all. And so tonight, from a thankful congregation, from my heart of thanks, we want to bestow upon you this plaque to Richard Kesey, Cub Master 787, Scout Master 787, with sincere appreciation for the vision and inspiration that began our scouting program. We will always be grateful for your devotion, leadership, and service to our scouting program. We mean that. Not just that. Ferguson to come up. 
our new Scoutmaster for Troop 787. And today, if you'll come over here with me, I'll do this in a, in a wood bat fashion. Now, I have to, of course, <laughs> put on something to read by. Uh, if you will put your hand over my, there you go. And do you, as the scoutmaster of this troop, pledge your loyal support? Will you stimulate the individual scout and the troop as a whole to work towards the goals of the scouting program and the church? If you do, then please repeat after me. I promise to do my best to be worthy of my office as scoutmaster. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to do my best uh, to be worthy of my office as scoutmaster. For the sake of my fellow scouts, for the sake of my fellow scouts, my troop, my troop, and the world brotherhood of scouts, and the world brotherhood of scouts. Congratulations, Mr. Scoutmaster. How about it, guys? Thank you. 
guys, three adults that went on a, on a high adventure uh, outing this past summer. They could come forward here and give all the announcement. Great team in. Increase Bruce Truard. Bruce here. Lord. Adults usually can't earn merit badges, but we make an exception to the guys that run up and down the Appalachian Trail with their boys. We figured they earned it ten times over. <laughs>
Jeffrey, what'd you do today? What'd you do today? Huh? Ice. Yeah, ice. Did you, did you go to McDonald's today and play in the playground? Did you play in the playground today? What? Did you play in the playground? Mommy take you to breakfast? Remember the balls? Did you get in with the balls this morning? What are you talking about, man? Surfy dance! Dance! Jeffrey time. Jeffrey. <laughs> hey, Mamma. Hi, Papa. Oh. Ooh. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Go look at you, make a big brown. Go say, say, ooh, <laughs> big belly. Big belly. Say, Papa got big belly. Oh, Paul, where's Bob? Well, this is the boys cross country JV meet getting ready to start. Just lining up. You can see there's a bunch of them. It's an invitation. There must be at least a dozen schools here. Park guys aren't in line yet. They're still taking their warm-up strides.
Let's go Winter Park! On Michael Brandon, let's go buddy! Let's go Black, what do you say? Let's go! Got a good start. Let's go, Tony. About seven minutes, Tony. Looking good. Looking good, guys. And good, Brad. Pick it up. Start picking it up now. Put him in my yellow truck over on the other side and I'll take him down after reasonable time. Put him in that little envelope. Put him in my yellow truck over there in the front seat, right where the driver's seat is, and I will take him down after a reasonable time. Let's go guys, move, move. Start passing him.
Come on, Nicole. Come on, Nicole. I wonder what he's doing. Varsity 4A boys getting ready to run. Five twenty one. Man, about a five fifteen first mile. Looking good, Brian. Keep it up. Keep it up. Run strong. Looking good, guys. Run strong. somebody. Second mile. Come on, Renee. Don't look back now. You set your sights ahead. Don't you dare look back. Come on, that's where you're going. Come on. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Jason. Come on, let's go. Keep it up! 
Let's go, guys. Do it good. Come on, Hunter Park.
course right now. Let's go, Brian. Let's go, Thad. Come on, Brad, last mile. Pour it on now. Pour it on. Last mile. Let's go, Danny. Come on, Wolf. <laughs> His trademark. Go! Come on, Jimmy! Come on, TJ! Come on, Steve! Oh, oh. Let's go, Brian! Move! Come on, Brian! Jeremy, get your card. Jeremy, get your card. Get him down. Get him down. Come on, keep the way up. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, Brad, get him. Come on, Brad, get him, Brad. Open up, Brad. Open up. Come on. Over here. Good run! Straight on in, you got it? 2025, 2026. 2026. Come on, Andy! That's it, Andy. Right here, Andy. Right here. Push it, Mike! Come on, open up! Hey, Wolf! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Wolfie! Good 
Go through the finish line, Wolfman. Jay said, get up there, you're gonna some time. I got his first line. <laughs> so we got one, two out on the course somewhere. Tony and Tony and uh, James. Between those two cones. Go Harvey! Go Brian! Go Mike! Go Mike! Go Mike! Go 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 Go, Brian, pick it up. Pick it up. Go, Winter Park. Run, Rick. Come on, George. Come on, Jerry.
Nice and steady, Brad. James looking good, run strong. Right, James, be strong now. Pick it up. Go get him. Alright, Warren, let's go. Come on, guys, move, move. Lift and go around. Come on, Brad, move it now. Let's make your move. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Tom, work your arms. Work your arms, Tom. Head up, head up. Look up here. Let's go, Tony. Be strong. Work it now. Work it. Lift your legs, lift your legs, keep working your arms. Work. Let's go, Warren, run strong. Come on, Jeremy. Let's go, Jan. Come on, Mac. Come on, Brad, go get him. Last mile. Last mile. Get up there, Brad. Move it.
Go Warren, go get Mac. Go, Paul, get Jerry. Go. Get up there, Paul. Come on, guys, go get Mac. Reach up all your work and dig and let the air take it. Let the air take it. You got all four of those if you want. They reach, now reach, now go. Come on, Wolf, stretch it out. Go, Wolf, go. Take this hill hard. Take it hard. Take it hard. Take it hard. Go, go, go. Go, go. Come on, Brad, stretch it out. Use your arms. Use your arms. Stretch your legs out. Yeah. So it's going to be described in the I mean, that is his sprint. Yeah. Way to go, Wolf. 16. Come on, Brad. Brad's going to get passed. Here we go, Danny. Come on. Work it, Brad. Work it, Brad. Jeremy, let's change your shoes so we can get on our cool down, okay? Let's change your shoes.